What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2023 Bowman Baseball Hobby Triple Header Case Break just sold out. This is 36 total boxes, guys. Three cases. This is a tiered random teams break where you get three teams in a tier. So, again, 10 total spots. Everybody gets a random tier uh, from the three teams from the list below. Uh, and again, 36 boxes of hobby. All cards will be shipping, guys, minus the paper veterans and non paper first. All chrome ship, all Bowman paper, all rookie paper ships. Everything else is going to be donated. So I think uh, the way we did this one, guys, is that we put some pretty big teams in tiers with others to kind of make it as fair and even as possible. So regardless of what tier you get, you will be getting some good teams in your tier. Um, now, obviously, everybody wants Drew Jones. So, of course, Diamondbacks are going to be pretty popular, right? People are going to want the Yankees for Spencer Jones. You know, people are going to want Colin Kyle, um, what is it, uh, Cam Collier. For Cincinnati, but again, for the most part, a lot of these teams are tiered up with some good teams, so at the end of the day, it's pretty solid. Now, this break's going to take a little bit, guys, so I'm going to get a little help here soon with Michael when we start ripping it. He'll rip a case, I'll rip a case, and uh, yeah, let's do the randomizer now, guys. So again, we're going to copy the tiers. Now, thank you guys to these customers. If you don't have a Hobby 1 or Hobby 2 at the end of your name, that means everybody else bought in straight up, so we appreciate it, guys. Good luck. And of course, there's the tiers with the teams. That should be 10 right there total. Let's uh, click dice roll. It is a five and a six 11 times. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. All right, 11 times. Five and a six, 11, 11. Matthew at the top, down to Joe at the bottom. Now 11 times here now in the tiers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Boom. 11 times. 11, 11. Dodgers, Detroit, Rockies tier all the way down to the Diamondbacks, White Sox, Nationals tier. There we go. So boom. Could probably put 18, right? Uh, maybe 16. All right, so Matthew, you have the Dodgers, Detroit Tigers, and Colorado Rockies tier. Steven with the Yankees, Red Sox, Cleveland Guardians. Matthew with the Rays, Toronto Blue Jays, Houston Astros. Brad with the Orioles, St. Louis Cardinals, San Diego Padres. Uh, Matthew, you have the Marlins, Braves, Texas Rangers. Oren with the Seattle Mariners, Angels, and Royals. I with the Phillies, Giants, Pirates, Shane with the Cubs, Mets, Twins, Jerry with the Reds, Oakland A's, Milwaukee Brewers, and then Joe with the Diamondbacks, White Sox, and Nationals. I'm also going to kind of delete this whole plus and just put like an actual plus sign. It's probably much better. And uh, yeah, guys. I'm going to pause the video. I'll give you guys some time to do some trades. And if not, we'll come back and we'll start ripping this, guys. They should have just made all paper, all cards ship in this break just to mess with the sorters. <laughs> yeah, right? I mean, Vanessa told me that it takes probably like an hour just to sort it all out. Like in, like get rid of the paper first. Yeah. So yeah, at that point, probably it's probably a little easier. All right, guys. Oh, shit, I forgot to put the fucking shit on it. All righty, guys. There you go. So no trades. There's your teams. There's the tiers with the names, and good luck. Here we go. So Michael has a case there. I have a case over here, and we'll just rip like two of them first, and then he'll dig into the third case. So you can see him there at the top. You can see him here at the bottom. So again, guys, this is going to take a little bit of time, but I'm glad that we got this done now and got a little bit of help. It'll probably take me like, I would assume an hour as well to do each case, but 
I feel like Hobby I'd take a little bit longer because there's more packs. Yeah, you can probably stack them probably over here on the side, and then people can still see those. Not, yeah, it's not a good deal. Alright, then we're sticking to the same key player, top load list. Spencer Jones, Cam Collier, Edward Julian, Justin Crawford, Drew Jones. Now this, of course, we haven't read Hobby yet, but this one only gets one autograph, a couple numbered cards, so you'll see a lot more, obviously, like base and... Chrome, but obviously less autos as well. Crazy, man. Draft was fun. Did I saw your slash yesterday? <laughs> oh, I did it this way. I think the second trade to move up to six wasn't as good as the. Yeah. They still did really good though with the first one though, so that kind of helped. But I mean, they did need a big lineman, dude. You know, they kind of helped out Kyler a little bit. I didn't realize though, so they got 33 from. Uh, and they already had 34. Yeah, yeah, so they essentially basically traded one of theirs. I don't know which one they traded, but they traded one of theirs to jump back up, and then they swapped with 12, right? So, which is not bad because they still have another high second round pick, and now uh, they still have another first round pick next year. And honestly, I mean, I mean, I, I would think that Houston is still not going to be that good. It could, it could be, but I don't think they'll be a playoff team yet, so you figure that that pick will probably be pretty high. And then depending on what the Cardinals do, they might even have a high pick too. I don't know. Yeah. That's how it worked out for the Eagles. The Eagles, the Eagles actually had two first rounders, but they traded up. Uh, they traded this, uh, their one of their picks to the Saints so they can get a lobby. Yeah. And then the Saints gave them their first round pick, but. Obviously, they didn't do so well, so that's why they're at 10. It was at one point the Eagles would have drafted in the top five. Like, maybe two, three weeks before the season ended. I was like, damn, that would have been crazy.
All right, guys. So again, this is the three caser, hobby triple header. I'm ripping a case, Michael's ripping a case, and then he'll most likely try to dig into the third one once we get done with the first two. Um, but it's gonna take a little bit of time, so this is a perfect time for you to continue to buy slots and other breaks, whether it's football. A couple of those football breaks are in a filler. Most of those football fillers are actually almost halfway there, so that's realistic for us to do that today. I did repost up another Bowman Jumbo filler right now, so we have a chance, obviously, to maybe do another Jumbo tonight. And, uh, yeah, I think hockey might be getting close. SPA. Dude, Jim Irsay tweeted out some crazy shit today. Did you see that? What? He uh, tweeted out basically asking a question to his fans. Saying that if uh, Will Levis is there, like when they're picking, would you pick them and like we do like a Joe Montana, Steve Young, 49ers? <laughs> I was like, dude, you just like, you just got Richardson and now you're thinking of getting this dude too? I was like, man, he must not. This is wild, dude. If I'm rich, I'd be pissed, dude, if that happened. Yeah, look at that guy. That guy's fucking wild. Do the Colts still have uh, Matt Ryan? Um, I don't know, actually. I don't know if he's still under contract or he only had one year left. I don't remember how that worked. But it wouldn't be... It wouldn't be. No, actually, you know what? They probably don't because... I think they did cut him because uh, they signed Gardner Minshew, so... I think Gardner Minshew might have a chance to start in the meantime until Richardson's ready. Or if Richardson beats him out, it's over. But no, I don't think so. I don't think they have him anymore. That Michael Mayer tight end. I'm sure Jonah loves that dude. He's still available too. Joey Porter Jr. He was like done. Yeah. <laughs> he was like done with what he gave him and shit. Oh yeah, before you lose too, well hopefully the bra hopefully I'm not done yet. I can uh, I forgot I can probably add a couple users to the um, to my login. So you guys can have a login you know for the ADT. Oh really? Yeah. I forgot and actually I didn't give anybody out to that one, so technically I can do it to you. So we get to have it. I had to reset my password because I don't know what it was. It's been a while since I had a login to that. Um, yeah, well, I mean, whoever leaves last basically turns it off. It's just, I think Ramon actually started work, is starting to work at night again. Yeah. So that's why he wasn't here this morning.
You ever watch Blackish? Blackish? Yeah. No. Oh. I don't say you would know that, that dude, but it's so funny. Fizzle! What up? If the Lakers advance, you guys play the winner of the uh, uh, Sacramento, right? Or no? Phoenix. Yeah, Sacramento and, and Golden State, right? <laughs> yeah, I got Yelich in here with a uh, Laker jersey. <laughs> uh, that Phoenix, yeah, you guys, hey, Fizzle, you guys have to play Denver, huh? Man, that's gonna be a crazy matchup. I don't like that they do brackets, honestly. It should, uh, it should be re reseeded after the first round. I think so. I think so, dude, because then it sucks, because, like, Boston and, and Philly are playing against each other now, and they probably should be playing each other in the finals, potentially. Yeah. Or Eastern Conference finals. But I think about it, if, if Golden State wins, let's just say, Golden State was what, like, six? Yeah. So that means it would be, like, let's say, Lakers... Seven and six playing against one and like three or four. Yeah. Where it's like it shouldn't really be like that. Suns and six. Ooh, confidence. I mean, you guys have the potential to definitely win. That's for sure. Your bench? Yeah, but I mean, uh, I mean, that's how you kind of live and die, though, right? I mean, lately, obviously, Booker and those guys have been going off where it's like they're kind of taking all the bench points in that sense. But uh, Denver, obviously, they're, they're, they're pretty loaded. Now that they have Jamal Murray back 100%, MPJ's healthy, they got Jokic. But yeah, I mean, I just. Obviously, the bench is always good to contribute, but if, like, Booker's going off like crazy, then so. Like... But, yeah, I think you guys can definitely match up with them, though. You guys have the size, too, so that's not going to really be the problem. Yeah, I was going to say, I think it's going to come down to eight, and obviously trying to... Obviously, somehow... I'd assume Aiden. I would assume Aiden's gonna guard Jokic, right? Because I don't think KD would. KD probably guards like MPJ. I'd assume. Does Aiden get into a lot of foul trouble? Okay, that's good. So I was going to say, well, Jokic, obviously, for the most part, is going to obviously uh, attack some fouls. But I was just telling Michael, man, I don't know, man, if the Lakers don't win today, I, don't, I, I wouldn't want to be them going back to Memphis. It's like, I don't really want Memphis to win, but they, they're, they're good if they're really on. <laughs> yeah. It's seeing Josh back to the basket. The, the kid I know, dude. I, I seen him last year live. He didn't really have a good game, but uh, Bane and Jaron Jackson did, but he had a couple crazy dunks yeah. last year in LA. I think there's something else, bro. He's like head down. <laughs> He's gonna get injured really yeah. bad one of these days, though, but yeah, he does that shit all the time. And he keeps like running into AD and shit. And I'm like, <laughs> Lakers will lose the series if they don't win today. Yeah. It's going to be tough. I think the big difference is Bane's been actually finally shooting it better. 
Uh, Jaron Jackson, I don't think, had a really good game last game, but Bane has been shooting it better. Obviously, Jaws doing his thing. But it, you know what's crazy is that I feel like Lakers don't do well when AD's not really scoring many points. So they need to get him scoring early. Do you think the Lakers will win tonight? And then Warriors play today, right? Warriors can close it out tonight? Man. That game five was nuts, too. Dude, the fact that that game was going on at the same time as the Milwaukee game? Jimmy Butler is crazy, crazy dude. He's definitely MJ's son. Yeah. Well, I remember those conspiracy theories. Because supposedly he didn't know who his dad was, yeah. and he was like, left for like, I don't know, like adoption, or I don't know what the hell it was, and they were just like, he kind of looks like him, a little bit. They should do a DNA test. Yeah. There's no way MJ would do that, though. <laughs> hell no, he wouldn't do that. That was true. <laughs> I know, dude. Warriors are finally, obviously, showing the, showing their, uh, playoff experience and getting it done in crunch time well that's the one thing I, Oliver obviously he knows the Kings more than all of us because he watches them all the time and I know he was confident obviously that they could beat those Warriors because I think they could but I think that I think that's the one thing we all thought would happen was like the inexperience is going to start showing and yeah in crunch time obviously also doesn't help that yeah, he was injured supposedly, but he looked fine. I mean, I don't know. It didn't look like he was getting bothered from that finger, but yeah, I mean, obviously that doesn't help. So bonus, I mean, I feel like he hasn't played to his full, full self too as well. But either way, I mean, the Suns are set up for the future anyway. But yeah. So, man, California would be wild if it's like Lakers and Warriors. The two biggest like fan bases that like are so cocky. How sad, right? The Kings and Kings are both losing now. <laughs> the LA Kings are Yeah, well dude they had a whole, finally they had a really, really bad game on game five. They got destroyed. Now? Yeah, no, it was a three two. I don't know. Like, I went to Sunday's game. Oh, they they blew that game, dude. That they were a three nothing, dude. Yeah, I went on Sunday. I was like, I have to go. I met our customer Walter though. Oh really? That dude was sitting like, well, he wasn't sitting with me, but I went down to the bottom to look at him warm up, and he was like maybe three rows ahead of me, and I, he must have seen my story because he literally like turned around. I was like, that guy looks familiar. He's like walking up to me and wanted to give me a hug. <laughs> I was like, oh shit, it's Walt. You never met him before? No, I I missed him a couple times because he used to live here in LA. Yeah. And uh, he used to come pick up his stuff. But yeah. he would come early in the morning, so I really missed him all the time. So I haven't officially met him, but... Yeah, he was there with his mom. They're big Sweden fans, so like they love Kempe. <laughs> so they were wearing like Swedish jerseys. Yeah, that was cool. Jason, uh, nothing is close to selling out right now, and we're doing a three-case Bowman Hobby break, so it's going to be a while. So nothing's breaking in the next couple hours at least, but you guys obviously have the power to sell out other breaks in the next couple hours while we rip this. I was telling people that, of course, if you want to do some football, if you go to the website, man, um, football is, is getting closer. A lot of the fillers there are, are almost halfway there, so... You can obviously do that, do more Bowman, do anything you guys want, but, you know, like I said, we're going to be breaking this triple header for the next, like, three hours, so we're probably not going to be able to do anything else until, like, around 7 or so. But, yeah, this is a perfect time, guys, for you guys that are watching. There's not many people watching right now. I think a lot of people know this is going to take some time, so people are probably just like, I'll come back in a little bit. So, this is a perfect time for you guys to fill up other breaks while uh, we're doing something here you know Bowman's not your cup of tea that's totally fine like I said sell some other breaks out so we can add it to the schedule tonight if you don't want to watch this that's perfect you know, you can go do other stuff 
Plus, I'm just ripping right now anyway, so it's not like I'm going through the cards yet. I'm gonna rip the whole case, and then I'm gonna go through the cards. Also, the NFL Draft's about to start in like four minutes, round two today, round two and three, I believe. I think there's gonna be a lot of, <coughs> a lot of trades this uh, early round. A lot of teams wanted to move up into the first. So, expect a lot of trades today. Probably zero now when I get done with this, I'll do the break. And then when you finish, maybe just take a little break. And then once I'm d have room, I'll move that over here, and then you can start the next one. So that way you don't run out of room. You got any Cardinals games this year? Try to. I like their I like their stadium. It's actually really nice. I, I thought it looked really weird outside just because it's like a big old, like, I don't know how to even describe it, but but it was really nice inside. I went um, over at SoFi this year. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, the Eagles come to SoFi this year, too. Nah. Try to convince Nick and Mike to let's get a suite together and just, <laughs> fuck it, take all of us. So previous year, we, the... Uh, before you guys were here, they we went to the Chargers uh, for our uh, Cowboys game. Oh, really? Yeah, we got like a suite. It was really cool. But yeah, I'll go to that game for sure, and then I'll I, I kind of want to go back to Philly, so I'll probably go to one Philly game. Uh, Oh, it's like a print cut? Oh, yeah. yeah, that happens. It's like from the cutting of the, yeah. the sheets. Oh, wow. You know what? Uh, Evan just showed me one of those. It was uh, some guy pulled it in the store and I was like a Cal Ripken Jr. or something. I didn't realize they had those retros in there. Is that a buyback? Yeah. It looks like a buyback. It has this Yeah. It's on top. <laughs> it was like the first card. Yeah. That's probably a bonus auto then. Yeah. It's like those uh, little Under Armour ones. Two more boxes, guys, and then we'll be able to go through all the cards.
Also, oh, Arizona's picking second? Why did Pittsburgh get first? Did they get a trade? Yeah, Diego, it was, it was really good, man. I seen it uh, th Tuesday night when I got home. Really good. Ted Lasso was such a great show, man. I, I really don't want it to end, but I heard uh, I heard they could end it after the season. I think they're content with it, but I don't know. I don't see how they could. But I don't know. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> oh yeah, with the whole uh, <laughs> the tying of the uh, yeah. It's like why are they trying to why why are they trying to make us love uh what's his name now? Uh? Uh, why is my his why is it blanking me right now? West Ham's coach. What was his name again? Nathan? Why are they making us love him again? Yeah, right? In, uh, in Amsterdam? <laughs> yeah, that was really funny. See someone bought one of those Hasbulla uh, gold shimmer ones for like twenty five thousand. Yeah, that was kind of wild. That's out of three. Yeah. No oh, shit. Blue shimmers out of ten. Is that that's not first out of the line, is it? It is first. Oh, okay. It's the same for uh, WWE. I guess that makes sense. Then why it would be that much? So then, if uh, out of three went for fucking, then what is it? One of one like fifty k or something? Forty. Gotta be almost double. That's so crazy. I know, it is crazy. Like, one of the only cards I wanted from the whole set, really, was like an Alexander Volkanovski auto. <laughs> you got it, too. Yeah, Johnny. Yeah. That's what we're talking about. Alright, guys. Cool. So, I just ripped the whole case right there. Alright, Michael's ripping a second case. So, while I get done with this first case, he'll probably step away, take a little bit of a break, and then when I'm done here, I'll transfer this case over here to this table, and then he'll continue ripping the third case. So, I'm going to try to skim through this as quickly as possible, of course, without missing anything significant. Just remember, of course, this is kind of hobby edition, so it's a little different. Uh, it's going to be a lot more base than anything, only one auto. My sale, the song, to 125. I don't know what parallel, I don't know what, I forget what these ones are called. They have a lot of new names now. 
No, yeah, well, we were, I was just talking about that, uh, the gold shimmer that Michael said out of three. We went for like 25,000. A mojo's probably got to be pretty good. Those should be out of like a 25, I'd assume. Yeah, mine was out of 99. Yeah, Michael, Michael got a box today and he got one. He got an orange. So it's pretty good, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I just listed it for 2500 <laughs> <laughs> I think obviously I don't think I'm going to that, but... You never know, dude. Not not this. I wanted to buy another box, too. I was like, I just, I'm not going to do better than this. Yeah. yeah. Even if I had a color box, then, like, unless it's, like, an Yeah. I don't know, man. I don't... I would say. Yeah. You think so? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I guess it just depends because he said his or his orange is on bidding right now, like a 900. So, I guess it all just depends on what they end up selling for the first round, and then you kind of get a sense. Out of 175, so for 900. Okay, so then, yeah. If an orange goes for, what, 15, 2,000, then? Yeah. Then, yeah, definitely Mojo's probably worth a lot more. And Mojo's are one of the more coveted yeah, for sure. Sure. Jace Jung. There we go. First autograph, George Reese. Angels. So that's part of the Angels combo, and that is Angels, Angels, Angels. Where you at? Horn. And more Angels. This one out of 75. Shohei Otani. Almost hit a cycle yesterday. Gold vinyls get a lot more love, and then it's funny because like they might be only out of five in that set. Yeah. Like, like Bowie and Top Scrum, like the green refractors are out of nine, ninety-nine. They're not. Yeah. As, no. Know, like the same as a regular. Yeah, a lot of people might. A lot of people rather just get an orange, red, one on one, gold. Uh, this is hobby. Yep. So you can only one auto per box, guys. I'll do an autograph recap at the end, guys, in a separate video, so don't worry. If you're here in the break or not in the break. Balasteros. You know, Diego, if I if I didn't have Michael's help, it probably kills like an extra maybe 30, 40 minutes. Honestly, because I rip pretty fast, but Jumbo honestly probably would have been quicker. I, I think I'd probably take like an hour doing hobby because there's a lot more packs to rip. Jumbo is actually a lot faster than people think. I, I did Jumbo like in 50 minutes. I mean, granted, I'm kind of just focusing. I'm not really chatting. Yeah. You know, I think Joe took like like an hour and a half. Yeah. So less, uh, less boxes and, and less packs. Yeah, that's what I was saying. There's more cards, don't get me wrong, yeah. but it's kind of cool because it's in a pattern anyway, so you don't have to worry too much. But I mean, it's still killing like half the day today, though. Just because it's still going to take three hours regardless. Jason Dominguez. Hey, it's also kind of nice, like, doing it this way instead of trying to sell three different Facebooks. Yeah. It's more expensive, but... It's actually not bad. I mean, the tiers are really good, actually, so... At the end of the day, it's pretty fair. But some people obviously still want specific teams, but... Sousa, first.
There's Drew Jones. Imagine. <laughs> nah. George Villar. 1099. Number 22 on the Bowman Scouts Top 100. Cleveland. The Land. Uh, Cleveland. Guardian. Stephen P. with the Yankees, Red Sox, Guardians combo. Last spot mojo as well. I don't really want to go to the like, draft. I don't know. I'm gonna get drafted in the first round. Damn, he said that. Yeah. That's fucked up. He's like, he's I'd be. Would you be embarrassed, honestly? Yeah. I but see, it's, it's it's out of your control, though, man. But that's yeah. kind of I don't know. I would rather. I don't know. I guess. Unless I know for sure, then yeah, because it's a cool experience. But I'd rather just have a party at home. Yeah. But yeah, I guess I'd be embarrassed. I heard. I don't think he was gonna be there today. Jason Sharia. Yeah, Miss Jackson Younger. Really. This dude is, he was born in 2005, so when he was in the last product, he was like 16, almost going 17. Alright, let's. Yeah, yeah. Two. I'll let you know. Cool. Alright, so in the meantime, I'm gonna take a little break. I'm gonna go through this case, and then I'll transfer the second case onto the table, and then he'll, uh. He'll, uh. He'll pop back in. <laughs> I know, right, Diego? Like, they were saying online, like, the, the girlfriend was probably like, going to leave his ass because he wasn't a first rounder. Which I'm like, you guys are savages, bro. I don't know. I, I, for me, I think I would like to experience it in a green room, you know. Because it's a once in a lifetime, right? You only get drafted once there in the NFL, and especially if you're a first rounder, soak it all in, but. I think I'd be like, my, I would be kind of embarrassed if I didn't get dropped in the first round and I went to the draft. I just think a lot of teams, obviously, would have loved to pick them in the first, but as you can see, I think a lot of teams figured, look at the way the draft is playing out, Luis Angel Acuna, a lot of these teams in the later half of the draft don't need a quarterback. So that's kind of the problem. There was only like one team in the last like seven picks, and they said the Saints. I was like, the Saints don't really need a rookie quarterback. I mean, unless they wanted to sit behind Carr for the next few years, right? They just paid Carr a shit ton of money. So that's kind of the problem for Will Levis is that after the first couple quarterbacks were gone, those teams that needed a quarterback didn't really need one anymore. Now, we heard that a lot of those teams wanted to jump back into the end of the first to pick them. But because those teams, but because those teams didn't really need a... Uh, didn't want to draft him in the first. They save a ton of money. They they now they get him for a second round price, Carlos George, right? Compared to a first rounder, I think they only have him to a four year deal now. I don't think they get the extra option to a fifth, which makes a big difference, you know, when it comes to like salary cap and just obviously you know giving him a shot. But yeah, I think the Rams would be a very good destination for him. You know, honestly, I'd even throw in Detroit, really. I mean, Goff is their guy right now, but is he really going to be the guy for the long term? I don't know. Ooh, Joey Porter Jr. Look at that. Didn't didn't Joey Porter play for the play for them for a long time? Yeah, Steeler just like his dad. But yeah, I, I can see one of those teams. I see the Rams too. Like I said, the, the Matthew Stafford situation is a little tricky. Yes, he's still under contract for the next couple of years, but obviously, it, it, contemplate maybe a potential retirement or it just doesn't look too well. Well, then you have Will Levis there for the next four years at least on a very, very cheap deal, which doesn't work. Does doesn't doesn't hurt. But yeah, Scoot, Seattle, Vegas. We have one of those teams where like they kind of have like that veteran quarterback, kind of bridge quarterback, where they're committed to them for the next couple of years. But I don't know about long, long term. You know. Luis Garcia. That's awesome, man. Look at this. Joey Porter Jr. Uh, 
For the Rams, would be a very interesting pick. Whoa, Gabriel Moreno. That's a rookie blue color match for the Blue Jays. Blue Jays is Matthew with the Rays Blue Jays Astros combo. Oh, is he really nice? He's a dime bag now? You know, would you consider Joey Porter Jr. a first rounder now, technically? Since the the Dolphins got their pick voided, so there's only 31 picks. That kind of sucks, right? Even though he was the 32nd pick overall, he's now the first in the second round. Oh, did you hear about that, Diego? They said the Cardinals might be thinking of trading. Like what six seven? Yeah, pulling up six seven. Let's see what they give up else after, because that's technically another like first round pick right there. <laughs> yeah, pulling OKC. <laughs> Titans drafting Will Levis right here? It seems like they're done with Malik, honestly. Yeah, that's right. They can. Obviously, I forgot about the other guy. Hendon Hooker is there, right? Hendon Hooker is also a potential second rounder. And Kyler Fedko, refractor for the Minnesota Twins. Minnesota Twins. That's Shane. Gabriel Gonzalez to 150. Oh, okay, so basically the Cardinals got swap picks, so now they're at 41st. They get a, an additional third round pick this year, and they get an additional third round pick next year. Not bad. <laughs> Except OKC is getting first rounders, Diego. <laughs> OKC got like 15 first rounders in like the next three years.
Well, there you go. Will Levis off the board. Big arm, athletic, better in 2021. So now the question is, do the Titans trade Malik, or do they? Because they do they still have do they still have a Tannehill under contract? I would wonder if you kind of want a veteran to kind of help them out, kind of groom him. Whoa! There we go, our first red. Four out of five. Valdez for the Cubs. That's gonna be interesting now, though. Do they do they keep Tannehill for like that veteran presence to help groom him, or do they get rid of Tannehill and then they kind of have a quarterback, you know, kind of battle for for who's to start? I mean, if that's the case, you're gonna get two quarterbacks on the cheap, cheap, right? I think Malik was like a third or fourth rounder last year, right? And then you have a second rounder here. Jackson Holiday. He's gonna be the understudy for a year. Then that means Malik third, third, third on the depth chart. I don't know, man. Kevin Parada to 125. Crawford. All right, one more box, guys, and then we're halfway through the first case. Kyle Harrison and Juan Brito to 150 for the Colorado Rockies. Colorado Rockies. Colorado, Colorado. Matthew. Dodgers, Tigers, Rockies combo. Osuna. We have Pedro Ramirez. Alright, so the autograph came out pretty fast in this stack, so. I'm gonna kinda skim through this here. I 
And again, guys, obviously the shipping team, the sorting team knows the uh, players to sleeve and top load. So if I miss any, don't worry. When they sort it all out, they'll top load, sleeve them up. Johnson. Raiders back. Raiders pick is it? Raiders just traded up three spots. Raiders, who are they drafting here? Are they going quarterback? Well, yeah, they do need a tight end actually. Maybe a hand on hooker or Michael Mayer. Yuli, Speckles. Thing I needed. There you go, they got the tight end, Michael Mayer. Man down, seven thirty. Can't be in distress. Marco Luciano. And Luis Garcia to 299 Speckle Autograph. Toronto Blue Jays first prospect. And Matthew with the Rays, Blue Jays, Astros. Finish off this box here, and then we'll go with the next one.
Next box. Nice Spencer Jones Atomic. Yankees with that one. That's Stephen P. Kevin Parada to 125. Bowman Scouts number 27 out of the top 100. Luis Garcia to 499, another one back to back there. This time refractor. And Almonte to 25, orange shimmer. Jefferson Rojas, Cubs. It is Shane.
And we got Luis Lara, gold to 50. That's for uh, Brewers, which is Jerry. Jason Shereo, gold paper. Yeah, they got, they swapped, so they're coming up next. They got an additional third this year and a third next year. So it's not too bad. It's like Malik Hooker, <laughs> or Hendon Hooker, sorry. Adam Crampton. Santos to 199. Is that gold? Nice die cut. Cam Collard. Cincinnati. Jerry with that one. Oh, that's pretty sweet.
Luis Garcia. All right, guys, down to the final box, and then I'm going to transfer that case that Michael has right there on the cart that you see right here, and then uh, we'll get him to start ripping the next case. Chips on to $4.99. Alright, so like I said, uh, we're almost done here with the first one. Start moving on to the next one right now. Marco Luciano. We have Dominic Han Zone to four ninety nine for the Diamondbacks. Going to Joe. Michael Royal to three ninety transferring some of these boxes here. So each stack is going to be a box, guys.
right. Two more to go. So, Alright, sweet. Alright, let's see this pick really quick. Carlos George. Oh, I was just about to message you. <laughs> no rush, though. No, I just transfer everything right now. Oh, you were? <laughs> Desan. And Gabriel Gonzalez. First out of the second case, that is Seattle Mariners, which is Orn.
All right, second box, guys. Roman Anthony. One per box of Tomic. Chase the Lotter. And Dominic Canzone. For the Arizona Diamondbacks going to jail. It's our second one from, uh, well, it's the first one from this case, second one from the first case. I don't know, but I did get a red, though. I got a red auto. Cubs player. Cardinals pick is in. Excited. They're probably gonna go defense right now. We have Blake Lover again, and then a Pedro Martinez to three ninety nine. I think it's Lara. You know, DeAndre Swift is up for a trade. He might get he might get traded for like a fifth or sixth rounder. I mean, he doesn't have to be the guy in a sense, and because like he can't stay healthy. But as long as you guys commit him, he'll be back. We have James Conner. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, he he doesn't have to be the guy, so it'd be perfect. Yeah, I just wish we had a guy like. Like Chase Edmonds, Chase Edmonds was better. Like the guy who's like quick, yeah, better like pass catcher. Oh, the guy nice. was a large. It's supposed to be pretty good, right? Yeah. Isn't his brother in the one? Are they related? Is that the one from the Giants? I'm not sure, but I know he's in the Maybe. Like yeah. Yep, they just. Bad for him. He's got to go play for the worst team in football. Yeah, we will play right away. Yeah. Got safety since I know he hasn't been traded yet, though. So yeah, so I they said they might end up just keeping D Hop. I would love that. Yeah. It's more like does he want out or is it? They want him out. I just thought maybe because he has another year left and probably wants a bigger contract. This, this, they said this class is a really, really good tight class. This is like the 
Kelsey uh, Ertz. Ertz one with uh, even what's his name was he was good too. What was his name? Um, the one for the Bengals for a long time. Um, he was just always injured every year. Oh, what was his name? What was this? Oh, it's a redemption. Rookie of the year favorites, Orange Brett Batty. That's cool. Mets. Tyler Eifert. He was he was really good for a while too. So nice one there for the Mets. Who has the Mets? Uh, Shane. I think it all just depends on the team around you, man, honestly, because if your team sucks, man, it's kind of hard. I mean, I don't know. You do have to have that it factor and kind of, like, make your players better, but I think he'll be okay, yeah. but it's just, you know, it's already, what, in his fourth year almost now? Yeah, <laughs> he has to really prove it this year, though. Yeah, uh, do they already know what they want? All right, next box, guys. Yuli. Uh, young kill, Fernandez. Colby Thomas out of 125, and then we have a Martinez out of 150. Who comes after Adley Rushman? What do you mean? Like the sequence? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I haven't been paying attention to that. Who is it? <laughs> is it really? Yeah. Ben Brown, Cubs. Oh really? Yeah. I mean, there is a yeah, there is a sequence actually. I guess. already have their skill players, they have their quarterback, they just they need some help on on the uh, offensive line probably and maybe defense. I don't know. I don't think they've re-signed wait, I don't know. I've been the ones that there no more. Is uh Brees Hall gonna be back with the you guys He kinda got injured a little early, right? Yeah. So he should be.
Marcel Lamar and Zach Mepko to 25. Angels. Do they do rounds two and three to Two and three, yeah, and then like, tomorrow will be four for seven. <coughs> I remember before they used to do one and two and maybe three, but yeah. now they extended that shit to just one. Yeah, dude. I mean, honestly, dude, this is like the biggest draft of them all. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Dude, I, I didn't even care that the basketball game was on shit. <laughs> and there you go. That's the one Michael actually saw earlier. So this is like a little buyback. Bowman, uh... I don't know, I guess it's just Bowman baseball. That's 11 of 18 of Deion Sanders in a Braves uniform. Pretty sweet. <clears throat> so it looks like Tops bought this back, autographed it, stamped it, and they probably bought back 18 of these. So there you go, that embrace. That's a nice hit. Uh, Matthew. <laughs> yeah, nothing. <laughs> but they probably just, it's like one of those ones where they call hobby shops, like, hey, you guys have any of these cards you want to willing to donate? <laughs> Yeah, dude, I mean, I doubt that they paid anything for this. Everson Ortega. It's like, what are they going to do with all those Judge and uh, yeah. Goldsmiths? Are they going to eventually put them in something? I actually thought they would be in this. this I thought they would be in right? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure, at least next year or something, but... Yeah, they can use them for whatever they want. I wonder if I should, I should check, but I wonder how much those, those base cards are selling for now. Still. I know, right? Well, they were once 20 bucks, so... Yeah. I've seen after the thing was over, some hobby shops were still accepting yeah. it. Yeah. I'm not sure it's all over now. True Jones. Figaro. Lane Prim base. And Don Hooker. Yeah, dude. The odds change like crazy, and then you got drafted in the second round. Imagine if in the beginning you just like, can, I'm sure you could have betted like him not being a first rounder. <laughs> like those people were probably so happy. All right, let's say the clearly Donner's filler sold out. So that's nice. Like, Chris is like, Chris is like, I placed my first bet ever. Really? On the Cavs to win the championship. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't go so well. Yeah, so it looks like clearly Donner sold out, so that's great. We'll be doing that in a little bit, obviously. Um, 21 left in contenders, love to do that. And yeah, everything else is still a little ways. Yeah, I mean, I haven't hit the craziest names, although I did hit the, the Deion Sanders was really nice. Check this one out, dude. Have you seen this? It's like a die cut, like gold. It's kind of cool. Cam Collar. And then we did hit a red of Valdez, which is kind of cool. I know, dude. We're saying this is like one of the worst ones. I've been having to sign this shit every, every single time. <clears throat> I've seen someone got interviewed recently. Saying what's the most cards you signed in one sitting? He said like seven thousand. Oh. Like oh my god, dude! So like seven thousand? That's nothing compared to what they signed throughout the whole year. I can see why people hate autographing, honestly. Yeah. And after a while, when, I, when people change their autographs, I know why. Cause, <laughs> dude, this shit is hiring. Siendo. There's one card in the showcase. Bomb. Auto that the guy signed his auto verdict. <laughs> Did he really? That's yeah. funny. Brock Jones to 
Yeah, I guess it's called like a gold nugget. Is that what it's called? Gold nugget. And Kumar Rocker, that's nice. Out of 150. Texas Rangers, that is going to Matthew. With the Phillies Giants Rangers combo. Or, sorry, no. Marlins Braves Rangers. Cool. I did it one at a time. Yeah. Trying to be careful from no dropping. I assume dropping you do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Luckily, I got big enough hands. I was just grabbing it <laughs> easily. Martin Gonzalez. Alright, Detroit traded up a couple spots. Now their pick is in. Purple. Oh, wow, he has both picks already. Oh, he was actually there. Props to him for staying. Did you roll that last would you say? <laughs> I don't know. That's what we were talking about earlier, right? I don't think so. I would have been upset, but at the same time, it's out of your control, man. I just think it's so funny that, like, the second day, you come more casual. Yeah. So like, I'm not saying his fit don't look good, it's just he's not really in a suit no more. I probably would stay, man, because it's still like a once in a lifetime experience. Yeah.
the Lions would be pretty, pretty decent this year. Yeah. Physical DB. Bam! He looks a little tiny, actually. Though. James Ottman. Um, no, I uh, probably have to go shopping too. We're gonna go to Puerto Rico next weekend, so I gotta go get some Puerto clothes. Rico? Yeah. Just for the weekend? No, no, we're going for, no, next week we're going for like a week. Oh. But like, I gotta, this is my last weekend to actually go to get stuff. Oh. No, I don't think so. Vanessa's gonna go to, uh, one of my cousins getting married, they're going to like a bridal shower tomorrow in the morning. I gotta stay in work. Manuel Beltre. Drew Jones. If you think about it, it's you're not gonna get drafted again. Yeah. I would probably stay too. Yeah. I mean, I, I think most people just end up being by themselves. I don't think they bring back their whole family, but. Yeah. And then we got Lisandro Rodriguez. I'd also just wear the same exact thing all over again. Dude, I remember what Geno Smith. He he obviously was one of those guys. Yeah. I think him and Darius Slay were actually, and um, I remember he was so upset that he wasn't going to come back, but then someone convinced him to, and you know, he was all happy that he finally did. Axel Sanchez. But he was projected to go pretty high, right? Well, yeah, that year, dude, it was embarrassing because I think Emmanuel, um, what was his name? Uh, not Emmanuel, sorry. Uh, the Buffalo Bills quarterback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was the only first-round quarterback that year. Everybody else? EJ Manuel. EJ Sorry, yeah, there he goes. EJ Manuel. He was the only one. They got drafted in the first, so yeah, I mean, kind of, kind of sucks, but. Gunnar Henderson at I think it's so cool that a lot of linemen, once they retire, they just get so jacked. Like, they're just, like, all fit now. I'm probably upset, dude. <laughs> How does Twitchy mean? That's what he's just one of his. Four more boxes and then we can dig into case three finally. Juan Cachon. Or Cachon. Cachon. Cachon.
Payne Grams. There's a, there's, there was one. Well, I'm Luba. Fletch. And Puka Grego to four ninety nine. For the Phillies. All right, so there for the Phillies. That's uh, I. And uh, Grayson Rodriguez, number two prospects in Bowman, top 100. Number to Making the pick over there. It's awesome. Rangers combo. Yeah, the dude has no butt front teeth. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Does he play hockey up there too, bro? Jefferson Rojas to 75.
Alright, here we go. Next box. Juan Alonso to Casino, Atomic first. I love that question, James. How long is this break gone and how much longer until it's done? <laughs> uh, right now, my recording says an hour and 55 minutes. And probably go for about another hour. So it'll take about three. <laughs> DePaula for the Dodgers. But better to get this done now than later, man. Because if I didn't have help or just... Even if I, even if I didn't, if I did, but... It would have just killed the whole rest of the night if it would have got done like at five or six. I probably wouldn't have wanted to break anything else anymore. <laughs> so sorry. I'm glad it got done early. And take a break at least. Yeah, probably. But the Clearly Donner's filler is sold out, guys, so I might end up doing that before I do a break, if anything. Clearly Donner's is like a quick break, dude. I got it done like in 10 minutes. Yeah. It's like super fast. It's like eight boxes. Yeah, it's like four, 24 cards or something, yeah. No Drew Jones, but we did hit a, like a Cam Collier, like, I don't know if you want to call it like Golden Nugget. <laughs> it was kind of cool, actually. It was uh, kind of like the shape. Kind of a little back that was kind of cool. Out of 49. We hit a Dion, a little buyback, and then... Well, we actually hit those two. It was pretty nice. Red Batty, Orange Refractor Parallel. And then we got a Valdez Red to five. So... It's some okay stuff, but no Drew Jones yet. None of the top prospect autographs either, actually. So definitely do. With Hobby, it's a little different, obviously. There's only one auto per box, so. They do say you get better color in Hobby. At least as they used to say. But a lot tougher to hit more autos, though. Out of 50 there. Paper. Drew Waters to 299. Colson Montgomery. Juan Alonso, a lot of Dodgers so far in this case. <laughs> Speed. 
you hit that uh, Christian Watson head you up? Yeah, I did. I know, that's what uh, Alex said, told me the one of our customers. I was like, yeah, I actually hit a lot of that just good parts. Right? Yeah, I hit it super fracture. Or not super fracture, it's gold vinyl. And the black finite, yeah. I think I hit a gold vinyl autograph too. Yeah. But the finite, yeah, it was just the base. I think that dude ended up selling for like five grand. He actually sells really good. James Wood. All right, thank you, sir. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, you could probably push it down just a little bit. Yeah. Right? I'm trying to do other things to avoid having to do my actual job. Right Six, <laughs> seven, eight, nine. It's Friday. Right, huh? Yep, that's right. <laughs> Not yet for me, though. Yeah. I, I got a soccer game that day. Oh, yeah, yeah. How's it going? <laughs> Did you, like, die in the first first match? No, it wasn't that bad. I scored four goals in the first game. No way. Good <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I haven't played soccer in, like, ten years. That's funny. Yeah, we lost 26 to 9, though. 26 to <laughs> 9? Oh, my God. Man, you guys suck. Yeah, well, no, we're really bad. But it's futsal, so it's, like, really Okay, small, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, let me get up and stretch my legs, guys. <laughs> Second hour of the break. <sighs> yeah, Chad. Yeah, Donner's ain't gonna happen for a little bit, Chad. I'd suggest come back in like an hour and a half or so. Chad, three cases of Bowman. Hobby. That's an hour each break. So yeah, it, it's pretty long. And that's it, I got help from Michael. I'm a pretty fast ripper, to be honest. It was taking me like 50 minutes to do a jumbo. Joe's taking like an hour and a half, so... Even with Michael, without Michael's help, it still would have took an extra like 30 minutes. But with his help... With his help... It definitely knocked down like 30 minutes so instead of it being like three and a half hours it's probably only going to be like three hours 12 box cases 36 boxes it'll be three monster boxes of worth of cards plus an extra shoe box so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve about twelve thousand cards maybe Or maybe more like 6,000 actually. I think these are 500 count. But look guys, like I said, I'm glad we got it done now. Because guess what? We have the rest of the night to break other stuff. If uh, we didn't get this done now and I had to get this done, let's say... You know, six o'clock? Think about that. I would have been done for the night. I would have said, sorry guys, no more breaks. Sorry. And now that we got this done, we'll have like another four hours or so to get some other stuff done.
Yeah, go enjoy the sun, Chad. Go enjoy it for me, too. I don't get the sun when I work on my five days. The only sun I get are these, uh, these lights around me. Rubier flow, damn. I haven't had a Rubier flow in years, dude. It's okay though. I'm, I'm gonna go on a little vacation next next weekend, so you know, get all that Bowman done this week, and then next weekend I'll I'll be in Puerto Rico. All right, guys, so this is the last case, guys. Here we go. Yeah, I'll be gone for a week next week. I'm calling. Nelson Rala to 175.
got Sha uh, Chacon. And Dayon Frias, first for Cleveland. Guardians at Stephen T. Hey, Carl, what's going on, man? Eminence. Um, that is our last case, I believe. And uh, I think we've sold, to my knowledge, two spots straight up. We have, what, five up on the website, one a filler. So we basically are planning for three fillers, but of course, uh, total spots we need to sell plus the filler would be a total of like eight. But uh, five are on the website, and we would have to add two more. So sell seven straight up and one filler if we needed to. Hilton got the first two like he has for the last couple. So, yeah, I believe that's our last case. We don't have any more after that. So should could be fun. Oh, wait, actually, sorry. Hold on. Did somebody else get a, case, a spot? Let me see. Maybe somebody bought one earlier. Oh, somebody actually bought a spot today, actually. So, yeah, we actually have to do four straight up plus two fillers, so we're six away. Six away. So, yeah, somebody actually bought one earlier, man, so that's why it's down to four. Oh, got some nice stuff in the last case I see, man. That that one one Steph Curry was yours, right, Carl? That that's a big time card right there. Those are the type of cards in Eminence that you really want to get because those are the ones that make up for a ton, especially like a Steph Curry. Carlos George. We got Jonathan Mejia to 125. Almonte. Jose Ramos to 150. Leandro Arias to four ninety nine. That's for the Baltimore Orioles going to Brad.
I just go to like the driving ranges, Chad, but I've never really actually golfed, no. Just like, you know, kind of like friends and stuff like that, but never, never actually golf golf, but I think eventually I'll get into it. Gabriel Martinez to 50 gold. Toronto Blue Jays win a Matthew. Susa. Honestly, Chad, we don't really eat down here at restaurants and fancy, to be honest. We stick to, like, the quick stuff if we have to do anything. Uh, but, I'm, I mean, there's a lot of places here, man, honestly. One of our customers actually, um, actually owns a, a nice little restaurant right here down the street. It's called Barron's. Uh, it's really small, but it's very, very nice in there. Um... But I, I'm just, you know, I don't think my wife has a list at all here. We usually just get like quick food, you know? Like more of the delis here, stuff like that. No, it's beautiful weather here, Chad. It never gets more than like 75, 80, honestly. But it's just because we work nights and... It's not like we really eat out much here in the sense of like restaurants because we don't really have the time. So it's more pick up and take out than anything. But yeah, Barron's is a cool nut, I know for sure though. It's a small place, but it's really nice. And uh, they do like the whole four or five course meal type of deals. He's, he's a really, really good chef. I love his breakfast burritos. They, they've, been, they've been selling breakfast burritos during the weekends. Sells out every weekend.
even think we have a fire alarm here, Chad. At least not like a traditional building. <laughs> Speaking of that, I don't think so. I'd, I'd have to start a fire, probably. <laughs> but no, man, honestly, I'm not... Me and my wife, and I mean, just speaking for myself, we're, we don't really eat at the craziest, like, fanciest places, honestly. Um, I mean, fancy to me would be, like, Ruth Chris and shit like that, you know? Steakhouses like that, but honestly, we're, we're kind of low-key, really. I'm saying we don't love food, but it's just, we don't really go to like crazy places like that, if anything, like fancy. The way we both grew up in a big Latino neighborhood, man, I mean, we're just, we're used to like the hole in the walls kind of deal. Drew Jones. Oh, well, yeah, definitely. I mean, we have security and... All that stuff, but I don't think we have like an actual fire alarm. <laughs> like a traditional one. Carlos George. Yeah, I mean, I, I eat... The, the most I'd probably eat wise is, like, Mexican food, honestly. I don't know, I had Jacob Berry. Don't get me wrong, I love me a good steak and stuff like that, but... Just, uh... Just love... Love, like, that home-cooking meal like that. Taco stands. Cam Collard is tonight in paper. Nice fucking uh, Drew Pierce or Pearson. The draft does look fun, Chad. Actually, I've been to an NHL draft here in LA when they held one here a while back. A lot different vibes, though. Obviously, NFL draft is just so much bigger now. I'm just excited for the schedule to be released, I think, next month. I want to see when the Eagles play against the Rams here in L.A. and then see where I could potentially uh, either go back to Philly or see see them in a new arena, a new stadium, somewhere else. But for sure going here to L.A., got to watch them at SoFi. Susek out of 50. They did, Chad. 
their, their pick is coming up right now. They're coming up right now at the end of the second, and then they're basically like the third pick to start the third. With that uh, compensation for the tampering with uh, Jonathan Gannon and the Cardinals. So. Should be good, man. But they did amazing yesterday, man. I can't believe they got Nolan Smith at 30 when they were projected to potentially get him at 10. I know he had a pectoral injury, I guess, but they say he's healed now. Another Blaine Krim, dude. We've been getting a lot of this guy. <clears throat> Out of 299. All right, guys, so uh, one more box, and then we're halfway through the third case, guys. Almost there, guys. So, again, it should take us, you know, to three hours. We're about to hit two and a half hours. So, again, appreciate Michael for helping us out, guys. Like I said, helped us out, probably kill, like, off an extra 30 minutes or 40 minutes of ripping. So, did shorten up the break, because I think it would have been, like, a three and a half hour break. That's what I still gave myself on the... Uh, on the uh, schedule, but I think now with that help right there, it caught us down to like three hours around there. And Braylon Bishop for the Pirates. Pirates is I. Rodriguez <clears throat> Alright, so we already got the autograph out of this box here So the rest of it should be potentially just color And then um, we'll move on to the next half of the case so the Second round is winding down guys A couple more picks And then we'll start the third We also have some basketball today, right? Lakers play tonight. Are, are the are the Warriors already playing? Of Diaz de la Cruz. Jackson. Oswaldo Peraza had a 50. Gold. Kevin Parada.
Did we not get an autograph here? I'll have to look through this box again. Or do we get it really early in this box? Hold on, let me double check. Maybe we didn't get an auto, but let me see. Let me count this. So, 24, 25, 26, 27, 29, 30. All right. So, we'd have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Oh, maybe we did get an auto then. Unless that Deion Sanders was an extra auto, but we do have 31, which I would be 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. Maybe I just blanked out and that Bishop was in this box. Here we go, continue on. Jonathan Aranda. Andreas Mesa. Jordani de los Santos, Christian Serta, Cam Collar there. Michael Royal, first atomic. I've done longer, Carl. 
I did like a five and a half hour break one time, man. This one was only three hours. Easy, easy break. But if you guys want to do more breaks, guys, sell it out. Sell all breaks. Now that we got this long one out of the way, we'll have plenty of time to do some other ones tonight. Off. Ooh, Cam Collar, nice to two fifty. There we go. Nice purple. Cincinnati Reds, that is going to Jerry. The A Reds, A's Brewers. Damn, Brian Cushing. I love that dude at USC. Jason Dominguez, Atomic, Oswaldo Peraza to 75. See you, Jason. See you later, man. Hey, Teddy, Teddy let me rip a box of UFC, and some guy told me to fucking get out there and put te get out and put let Teddy back. <laughs> Jesus, dude. Yeah. Tiny, dude, Teddy lovers are legit. Dude. They're, they're, they'll die for that fool. And he was like. He was like, this is my box. This is my box. I want Teddy to rip it. Jesus, and I was dude. like, and I, I was like, okay, well, like, obviously, if it's his box, man. Yeah, and yeah. Then Teddy was in the bathroom, so I was like, all right, when Teddy comes back, so then I muted it. I was like, Teddy, is this, is this his box? And Teddy was like, no. And I was like, dude, he said it was his box, and he doesn't want me to rip it. Oh. And he's like, oh, that's Larry. He's fucking, he's fucking around. Oh. I was like, dude. I feel like he wasn't fucking around. He kept saying shit to me. Yeah, I felt. I'm telling you, dude, those, those dudes love that dude. Like, it's, and it's most people that don't even buy it. And I got, <laughs> I got so rattled, dude. <laughs> no, I, you'll be fine, dude. I knocked over some base cards. <laughs> I was, dude, I was tripping, bro. No, that's why, I, honestly, there's some dude that I banned too over there. He just, like, talks so much smack about everybody else, minus Teddy. And, like, he's just those message, you know, it's like yeah. crazy. Oh, unban me. I, I was, I, my account was hacked. I'm like, bro, you've been doing this all year, yeah. dude. Like, that's yeah. a lot of people that don't buy anyway, so. Yeah. 
Don't worry. You'll be fine. Alright, All right, see ya. Justin Crawford. Spilling cards and everything. Oh, I don't even know who's Larry, though. <laughs> nah, I, I don't know. Some it's weird. hard to tell sarcasm on the internet. There's a lot of crazy people in that chat, though. Yes. Ronnie Simon. Alright, guys, here we go. Three more boxes. Here, here at the end. Rounding third, heading for home. Simone Juan to three ninety nine. It's Sue's bias. <laughs> I know, right? That's tough, though, man. I mean, uh, even even if some dude's messing around in the chat, I mean, when you're when you're trying to obviously become a become a breaker, you know, obviously when you have like trolls in the chat telling you to get out of here and we don't want you and this and that, I mean, it's just like anything else, you know. You can get a little rattled, a little self conscious, right? But I mean, at the end of the day, there's some people out there that just are just horrible human beings and they don't have anything else to do in their life but just to talk smack. So. Eventually you learn to like just mute them. I, I had a hard time too when I became a breaker. I'm very camera shy. I'm a, I, I don't really talk much. I'm very, I'm like an introvert, honestly. But when you get to know me, you know, I feel like I'm a cool guy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's, I don't know. It's just something you have to learn to shake off. I mean, not everyone's going to love you. Some people are going to hate you. But I just hate it when people are just dicks in the chat. Pardon my French, but you just kind of have to uh, just mute them and get them out of your head and just move on. Out of 50 to La Cruz. Alright, so Jackson Holiday right there. And we have two more boxes, guys. Two more. And it looks like, yeah, Carl, if you got those last four... I'll put back two spots, and then we just have to do the one filler. That's cool. I'll put back two spots in there. And then we're pretty much good. So three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, yeah. I'll put back two spots, Carl, if you're listening. That's, that would be the last two we need to sell straight up, and then we only have one filler left. Oh, nice. Were you in today? Oh. I mean, I've been busy for the last three hours here, but if you came earlier before 2 o'clock, then I'd get to see you. No problem, man. We got, we got good people here. Alright, last two boxes, guys.
All right, so my Eagles traded back out of the second round to get a, an additional third and, uh, and a couple picks in the sixth and seventh. So after this pick here, the Eagles will be drafting back-to-back, 65-66. Yeah, Michael, we'll definitely be getting some of that stuff done right now. Well, not right now, but in a little bit. Chad, the best card. Oh, we did hit a Cam Collier purple. We hit a red of a Cubs player. Don't know if he's good or not, but I'll do a recap soon right now, man. And then uh, you guys can judge it for yourself. But haven't hit a Drew Drones, though, so it's not looking like we will, to be honest. Out of 150, Andres Mesa. Yeah, that's true. It was like a red wave, you know? It wasn't like the true red, but yeah, it's, you're right. But I'll do a recap right now, man. Alright, guys, last box. So, I'll do a recap video in a separate video. And then, uh, like I said, you have to give me like 15, 20 minutes, put away the brakes, print all the labels, upload the video. Uh, and then, uh, then I gotta go through like 20 orders. Then I gotta go through like 20 orders. Uh, clearly Donner sold out first, so I gotta do that. And then I'm gonna take a break after that, guys, and then we'll break open whatever else sells after. Like I said, good thing is we got this done now because if this would have sold out now, like around 6 o'clock, I would have said, sorry guys, no more breaks today. <laughs> but the fact is, though, that we got this out of the way. Now we can continue breaking the rest of the night. Uh, recap of the autos. Carl, it'll probably take like a minute. A couple minutes. And I'll take a lunch break after the Clearly Donner's chat. I don't know if you heard me right. You guys had a two, three hour break. Not me, though. No, clearly Donners is literally like 10 minutes, bro. I'm going to get that shit out of the way. Plus, it's a fun break anyways. Price. And Adam Crampton. Why do the Hawks draft a running back every single year? <laughs> it's getting annoying. Why are the Eagles just drafting Georgia players? All right, Eagles picking for the first time today. Back-to-back -back picks. All righty, folks, and there you go. Two hours and 50 minutes, 35 seconds later, we are finally done again. Big thanks to Michael. If it wasn't for Michael, guys, this would have definitely been a three and a half hour break. 
So he helped us trim it down like an extra 30, 40 minutes. So again, I'll do a recap video at the end of this break, guys. But uh, yeah, that was three cases worth of Bowman. I'll do an autograph recap. Everything else, of course, oh well. You'll have to watch it or just receive it in your box. But autograph recap coming up next in a separate video, guys. Thanks.